1332, Chapter 2, Set Theory, Section 2.1, Introduction to Set Theory, Video 6, The Empty Set. This topic is both simple and weird at the same time, because the idea is really easy to grasp, but the weird part is, why is it there? Let's answer the first question first by defining what the empty set. The empty set, what do you think a set that's empty has in it? Like if you had a bottle like this one and it were empty, what would be inside of it? Well, if it's empty, then there's nothing inside of it. So if a set is empty, how many elements do you think it has? Well, if it's empty, it shouldn't have any elements in it. The empty set is the set that contains zero elements. Literally, it is empty. Now, there are two notations for the empty set. And notice I said the empty set, meaning that such a set is unique. There's only one empty set. But there are two notations for the empty set, or at least two notations that we're going to see. Uh, in other courses, there are other notations for the empty set. Uh, notation number one is literally a set in roster using the roster method that is literally empty. Let's see if I can draw that a little bit better. There we go. It is literally empty. Literally empty. There's nothing in it. But there's another symbol or notation for the empty set. And you may have seen this one before. It looks like a circle with a line through it. It's actually the Greek letter phi. We won't call it the Greek letter phi. We'll just call it the empty set. So if you see either of these two th symbols, a set in roster form that is literally empty, or a circle with a slash through it, it means the empty set, the set that contains nothing in it. Now, you may have seen the second one before in an algebra class when you're solving an equation and there's no solution, and they say, if there's no solution, write that. Well, what they're really saying is we want the set containing all solutions, and it happens to be empty. But those are the two notations for the, for the empty set, a, an empty set or the Greek letter phi. So let's take a look at some examples and try to figure out which of the following sets are the empty set. We've got two in set builder notation, one in descriptive method, which is the bottom one. And we'll figure out what's going on with, with the third one here in a moment. But let's start with A, the set of containing the set of X's such that X is a natural number that is divisible by seven. Well, if it's empty, then there's no numbers that belong to this. And if there's no numbers, that belong, no elements that belong to it. And if there's no elements that belong to it, then there are no natural numbers that are divisible by seven. But can you think of any number that's divisible by seven, meaning that when you divide it by seven, the remainder is zero? Well, I can think of a lot of them. The first natural number that's divisible by seven is seven. Seven divided by seven is one with the remainder of zero. Are there any more? Sure. 14. 21, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But if the question was, is this the empty set, then all we need is one element. There's an infinite number of elements, but this is not the empty set. Because there are elements in the set, there are natural numbers that are divisible by seven. Let's go to the second one. The set of all X's such that X is an elephant living on Jupiter. Now, as of today, May 17, 2021, I'm pretty sure there are no elephants living on Jupiter. In the future, if somebody's watching this video, that might change. But as of this date, there are no elements living on Jupiter, meaning that this set is empty. And by the way, we could have also written not the empty set, or we could have just written empty set here, the braces that are empty. I prefer the circle with the fee because that's fewer braces I have to draw. Or the circle with the line through it, excuse me. All right, so, but what's going on with this third one? It looks like somebody just got happy typing braces on a keyboard. 
But this is where you have to be really particular in looking at something. It should be evident that this is written in roster form because we are using the roster method because we are starting and ending with a pair of braces and there's no X such that in the middle so it's not set builder notation. So what is inside the set that's inside the red braces? In other words, what's between the red braces, the, the braces that I have circled in red? And the answer is this guy. So which set are we talking about? Are we talking about the one on the inside or the one on the outside? Well, if I said here's a set and I start writing this, then its elements are between those two braces. And what's between the two braces here? That thing, which happens to be the empty set. So is this whole thing empty? And the answer is no. Why? Because there's something inside of it. Oops, didn't mean to get rid of all that. Hold on. So what's, it, what's inside? I'm going to make it do what I want. Here we go. All right. So what's inside of it? This set is not empty. And the reason is this object, which happens to be the empty set, is an element of this set. Might help if I write them a little bit different. So again, this is a really weird one, but this thing is inside of this thing, which means the larger thing is not empty, which means it is not the empty set. So that's a pretty sneaky one. Speaking of sneaky ones, D, why is the set of people on earth with two heads? If this is empty, what does that mean? It means that no one on earth has two heads. So what do you think? You think it's empty? Is if you say no, you're telling me there exists at least one person on earth with two heads. And believe it or not, such a person exists. Or rather I say such a pair of people exist. This is not the empty set, at least not as of uh, the recording of this video. Am I blowing smoke? Of course I'm not. Want some proof? Go to YouTube, YouTube, Search Abby and Brittany Hensel. You may have heard of them. You may have actually seen their TV show when they had one. Um, but they are an example of conjoined twins that have two heads, uh, two hearts, two stomachs, four lungs, four upper, everything in their upper body they have two of. But two arms, two legs, and from the waist down, one set of everything else. Um, and they're not babies. They're, I think they're actually 30 now. But if you really want to, if you really want proof that this last set is not empty, please search Abby and Brittany Hensel on YouTube.